Welcome back to Medis in Depth. Today we will continue looking at the crisis in Gaza. Jeffrey White and Neri Zilber write in the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, a piece titled Boots on the Ground, Israel Enters Gaza. The writers focus on the implications of the ground operations of the IDF. They argue that the current operation is the first, but not necessarily the last phase of Israeli ground operations. The Prime Minister and Defence Minister have ordered the IDF to prepare for a major expansion of the ground operation. The policy experts suggest Israel will develop more intelligence and targets as the operation continues, and this may lead to some expansion on its own right. Casualties will increase for both sides, but probably disproportionately for the Palestinians because of the IDF operational and tactical advantages. During the ground phase of cast lead, the IDF suffered only 10 killed in action, and four of those were by friendly fire at this point, according to Israeli sources. Although the operation may in fact compel Hamas to enter more serious negotiations, the group might also see ground incursions as an opportunity to entangle the IDF in prolonged indecisive fighting. And such a scenario would set the stage for a critical Israeli decision on whether to expand the operation as it has been from the beginning, the end to it, this latest round of fighting and the welfare of the Gazan people is in Hamas's hands. Also on the matter, the Daily Star features an editorial titled Threshold for Murder, where the paper looks at the massacres committed by Israel. The Shijaya massacre in Gaza Sunday coincided with a striking level of popular anger at Israel around the world as efforts to broker a ceasefire pick up pace. On several past occasions, Israeli campaigns of this type have ground to a halt when a grim milestone of fatalities has been reached. In some cases, a single horrific incident pushes things past a tipping point. In Lebanon in 1996, the Kana massacre, just over 100 people butchered when they took refuge at a UN facility, increased the pressure on Tel Aviv. Palestinians and their supporters deserve to know what level of death will eventually see the international community's political and diplomatic pressure kick in. It is a massacre of 50 people in a single attack, or is it 100 or 200? Alternatively, if single incident atrocities don't produce huge numbers of casualties, can there be a guaranteed total figure that does the trick? Can the world's political leaders specify such a bloody threshold, 1,000, 5,000 or 10,000 people, for example, so that Palestinians aren't left wondering day after day whether what they endure will be sufficient to give the final push to ceasefire efforts? For more updates, visit our website, levant.tv. Or subscribe to Medis in Depth on iTunes. Thanks for watching and bye for now.